All right, guys, a couple of requests for a Drone Harmony tutorial. Here it is. Uh, Drone Harmony costs for the free trial is free for the uh, single version and for the pro version. Uh, the single version is $33 per month and the pro version is $99 per month. But this uh, app can do unbelievable things. So let's just take a basic tutorial here. Uh, from uh, waypoint to waypoint and I'll do some explaining we'll take the flight after for my Mavic Pro drone it's one of the best apps I've seen I've come across and I haven't really um, seen any tutorials or I've seen a few reviews but not too many tutorials on the on the app so this is the app here it's called drone harmony And what it allows you to do is to uh, build a mission before you go out into the field to actually fly the mission and to see how it's, how it's going to work. So you can see the map here, North America, the blue dot is where I'm located. And we'll just zoom in there. Okay, so where I'd like to make my mission is not at my home. I want to make it uh, because my home is in a no-fly zone. I'll have to make it in a uh, area where I can fly. So it's just just on the outs on the edge of town here. So the white box in the center of the screen is the is the uh, local Walmart store, and I want to. Uh, let's say fly around there and have a point of interest to point the uh, drone at that and just fly around fly back to where I want to land let's zoom in so I would like to start over here in this uh, right in the edge of this abandoned field so the first thing you got to do is when you want to uh, set up your mission is to click on the uh, you want to zoom in because if you don't zoom in far enough then uh, it won't be available so um, it uses Google Maps which is nice so anyway um, you press on the plus sign in the bottom right corner uh, brings up all the different missions that you can fly there's the pro there's seven pro missions you can fly there and you can see there's they're kind of grayed out because I'm, I'm not set up for that right at the moment shapes the shapes are highlighted so I can do any of those like orbit helix and so on and so forth here uh, the quick has two of them and they're grayed out you can't do those at the moment and then the manual and you can see one of them is ready to go and and, and fly by by flying is um, when you have to be up in the air and, and uh, fly it and then save it and go again so the manual waypoints one is the one I'm going to select And then this pops up here asking you how many meters do you want to fly and I want to fly it like say 30 meters up and the gimbal pitch is just going to be at 90 degrees for now straight out and we'll start so now it's placed on the map a red triangle with a plus or with a, a four-headed arrow below it a black a triangle with two line two red lines coming out of it with a four-headed arrow and below that is a circle arrow circular arrow. and uh, then we have a green dot with a four-headed arrow so to move these objects you grab the four-headed arrow below it press on hold and drag and let go wherever you want to just like this so what happens here is the red uh, triangle is where the drone is going to start so we'll place that right at where I would like to uh, place my starting point for the drone and the green dot is the ending where it's going to land so I'm going to just place that close for a moment, moment because if you place them on top of each other it's hard to pick which one you want it'll always probably pick the top one or whatever so we'll zoom out a little bit and like I said the white box there is uh, Walmart and I'm going to place the black drone or the black triangle with the two red lines coming out of it um, down on the one corner of of Walmart there 
Now the, uh, the, the, the uh, circle below that with the arrowhead is if I press and hold I can rotate the drone. And I guess you figured it out that the two red lines coming out of it is what the drone can is pointing at. That's the camera angle view. So for the moment I'll just place it uh, straight north. Now I guess I have to move the green dot a little farther away because there's two yellow lines go coming from the red one and going back to the green uh, icon. So I'll just drag this away so I can actually click on the yellow uh, lines. So I want to place more waypoints. So if I click on the yellow line that goes from the uh, red starting point to the first uh, waypoint there, I'll click there and then it a plus sign appears in the center of each of those lines. So I'll press on the plus sign and press on it again. Now I have a waypoint with another black triangle with the drone and I'm going to place this one straight north of the other one and then on the second uh, on the the line that's connected to the green dot I'll press on there a plus sign appears I'll press on the plus sign and press, press on it again brings up another um, icon that I can move and we'll move that one down to the bottom and uh, I guess you can tell that I want to fly from the takeoff point to that first waypoint there down south to the front of uh, Walmart across the front of Walmart to the other side and then back to the green dot back to the landing point now the uh, from the red uh, takeoff position to that very first circle with the black triangle in it. The black triangle represents the direction the uh, drone is going to face when it gets there. So I don't like that facing and uh, besides I want to put um, a um, or I don't like that facing so I, I want to face it towards the the parking lot or so towards the front of the of the Walmart. So I'm going to press on it, which brings up the uh, other icons that I can do. I'll rotate that and point it you know, roughly in the direction I want to go, or I want the camera to look. And then uh, the next, I'll press on it again, which makes it inaccessible, so that, that uh, I can now pick the, the lower um, icon there that's facing straight north. I'll select that one and I'll rotate so I can rotate it towards the um, parking lot also and I'll click on it again to uh, sorry I zoomed in there a bit I'll click on it again so that it disappears and I'll click on the far right one and angle that one to the center of the parking lot also and then I will place the green dot home position right above the starting point. So as you can see here I now have a flight mission that goes from my starting point, my takeoff position, to three different waypoints and then back home. And the three waypoints as you can see with the black triangle in it all point towards the center of the uh, parking lot. So if I zoom in a little closer you will see that numbers appear in those uh, circle in those circles. That represents my altitude. It's going to fly to 30 meters, the bottom one is 30 meters, the right one is 30 meters and then back home. So the drone is going to take off, it's going to go up to 30 meters high and then start flying towards the first waypoint there. Now at the first waypoint it's angled, well you can see the drone is actually pointed towards the first waypoint there. The, the, the triangle, the red triangle is pointing towards the red triangle, or towards the first waypoint. And the drone is going to fly straight that direction. But because it wants to get its um, camera pointed towards the bottom right, which is the center of the um, parking lot, as it's flying there, it's going to slowly turn the camera to 
point at that center parking lot. So in other words, it's going to take off, fly straight, and then slowly fly sideways and get its camera oriented towards the center. But I don't want that to happen. I actually want it to fly straight to that waypoint, facing straight at it, and then when it just about gets there, to finally turn turn and turn its camera towards the center there. So how I do that is, there's now a plus sign between the uh, starting point and the first waypoint. There's a plus sign there. I'll click on that, which brings up another waypoint. I'll press on the waypoint again. Now I have the opportunity of moving that waypoint, and I'll move it very close to my first waypoint. And as you can see, it's still oriented towards the center of the um, parking lot. I don't want that. I'll grab the lower or the, the uh, icon to turn it and I'll point it towards the, the, uh, the uh, other waypoint there. Now you can see when my drone takes off it'll rise up to 30 meters and then fly straight facing straight towards the corner uh, the top left corner there until it finally hits it'll finally turn and then point towards um, the center of the parking lot. Now it turns the corner and flies downwards towards the bottom uh, waypoint. So the camera is going to slowly, or the drone is going to slowly turn until it reaches the bottom and the camera is going to point sort of up, upwards at an angle towards the center of the, the um, parking lot. And that's great. That's exactly what I want to happen. I, I want the camera to continually be pointing towards the center of the parking lot. And likewise, across the bottom, when it hits the second, uh, when it hits the lower left waypoint and flies to the right waypoint, its camera is going to be always oriented towards the center of the parking lot there. Once it leaves the last waypoint and heads home, still at 30 meters, the camera is going to be oriented in that direction all the way home. So it won't be pointing towards home it'll be just pointing at an uh, to the upper left all the time so it'll be flying kind of sideways all the way there I don't want that to happen I want to be able to when I leave the last waypoint in the bottom right corner I want it to point the camera towards the home point so how I do that is I press the plus sign on that yellow line I'll press it again and as you can see the drone is pointed to the upper left corner I don't want that. I want to, I want it to be pointed towards the home point, and I'll grab the four-headed arrow and drag it down to very close to the last uh, waypoint there. Now, as the drone leaves that waypoint, it's going to turn and then face home and finally arrive at home, 30 meters high, and I can actually tell it to hover at that 30 meters high, or I can tell it to land. Uh, when it gets home or I can tell it to drop in altitude and um, then land or slowly drop in altitude and then go home so um, let's start at the drone takeoff and it's going to fly to the bottom left hand there pointing straight ahead and it's going to be 30 meters high when it gets there so Let's say I want to, or and then it's gonna, then we'll fly straight down to the second waypoint there. Now let's say I want, as it's flying straight south, I want it to go up another 20 meters, so I'm up 50, in a total of 50 meters high. So how I do that is I click on, I press on the lower left icon, so that now it becomes available, I can do what I want with that. You can see over the far left, there's a, a pencil. Looks like a pencil. That's the um, uh, I can adjust. So I pressed that. I pressed that. Sorry. I can adjust um, the smooth corners. I can make it single or multiple shots. I can add a waypoint. I can update the altitude. I can uh, set a starting point. I can do the yaw or the gimbal pitch. So I want to raise the altitude up 20 more meters. So I press raise 
and where, the, where you see the word meters, I'm going to press there, and I'll type 20. And we'll hit update. Now if I zoom in a little bit closer, and click on that again, you'll see that the number 50 appears there. So as it leaves the top waypoint at 30, it's going to slowly go up to 50 until it gets there, then it'll be 50 meters high. <coughs> Um, which is okay. So now it's going to fly straight across the bottom and go down to 30, but I want that to be still at 50. So I'll click on that waypoint, press the pencil, go to the update altitude, press the meters, and press, press 20. And press update. Now if I want it to go down, I put, would put minus in front of it, like minus 50, or minus 20, pardon me. So I'll click on the waypoint again that's highlighted. It goes away, and as you can see, the bo bottom two have 50 in them, which is 50 meters high. Now at the bottom right corner, it's 50 meters high. It's going to go down to 30 by the time it gets to that second uh, one. That's the, so the first one after that says 30, and then it's going to sail home at 30 meters high which is which is okay but the um, the gimbal the camera is pointing straight out 90 degrees but I want it to point downwards let's say at um, I don't know 30 degrees so how I'm gonna do that is at the starting point the red triangle the drone takes off flies all the way straight until it gets near the end near the corner there and at the corner is where I want to lower the uh, camera angle the gimbal so I'll press on the pencil and then you can see gimbal pitch at the bottom press that right now it says current is 90 and I'll do the slider and I'll slide it down to uh, say 30 right about there We'll say set. Now that gimbal and camera is going to point down at 30. I'll press that icon again. It goes away. Now the camera is going to be pointed down at 30 there, but when it gets to the 50, the, the bottom uh, left icon, it's going to go back to straight out 90 degrees. I don't want that. <laughs> I want to lower it back to 30 again, so it's continuously looking at that. And the same with the bottom right corner. Now I can do both of those at the same time. If I click on the lower left and the lower right, they're both highlighted. I go over to the pencil. I press gimbal pitch. I pitch it down to 30 by dragging, oops, by sliding over to 30. Press set. Press them again so that they are no longer active. Now if I press the bottom right corner, and look at the pencil and say gimbal pitch and look at it it says current 30 degrees so it's gonna it's currently set at 30 degrees so I'll cancel that and press that icon again so now at the bottom right corner its gimbal is pointed 30 degrees down when it goes to that next um, waypoint which is very close to it it's gonna go back up to 90 so the camera is gonna the uh, actual drone is going to slowly turn to the right until it's facing towards home and the camera is going to lift up to 90 degrees straight out as it gets there also to that point. So far the mission is just the way I want it except that when I get near home I want the gimbal to point downwards so how I'd have to do that is I have to tell it that. So this is where it gets a little hard to pick the green one or the red one. I just happened to pick the green one, which is nice. Now, if we go over to the pencil, and as you can see, I can yaw, I can reverse direction, I can smooth, or I can update altitude, but I cannot do the pitch of the gimbal. So we'll just press anywhere on the map to get rid of that. We'll put that back. Now, we'll press in the yellow line between the ending point and that we'll just press on the yellow line puts up a, a plus sign press on it again brings it up another waypoint press on it again now I can move this around as you can see and I'm still going to point it towards home but I'm going to bring it 
to, oh, let's say about that far away, just across the road there. But at this point in time, I want the altitude, if I go over to the pencil and go for altitude, update altitude, you can see that it's at 30 meters. This is okay. That, that's fine with me. So we'll leave it at that. If I press on the pencil again and go down to gimbal pitch, I can pitch the gimbal down to, say, 30. Press set. Now it's at 30. So the when the camera is at the bottom right corner, it's pitched down 30. When it gets to the just slightly to the next uh, waypoint there, it's going to go back up to 90. And now it's going to slowly pitch down to 30 degrees as it t until it gets where the one that's highlighted at the moment. I don't want that to happen. I want it to fly 90 degrees up until it gets there. So I'll have to unhighlight that one. Press the plus sign between the two. Press it again. Move this one up to just about, just under it, I guess. Press the pencil and do the gimbal and tell the, make sure that the gimbal is st stays at 90. We'll set. Now, the one that's highlighted, the gimbal is at 90. We'll press that one again. The one just underneath it, it the, the gimbal is pointed 30, so it's going to change from a 90 degrees to a 30 degrees pitch at that point in time. So we'll zoom in a little bit so I can press the plus sign between the the very last waypoint there and the green dot, the home in ending, and I'll press, press that again because I want the gimbal to be pre to be pointed straight down by the time it gets home. I'll press it again to highlight it. I'll move it. Well, I'm going to have problems with the green dot, so I'll move it to the side. I'll press the green dot. We'll move it over. Oops. I pressed the wrong button there. Now we'll bring this one back. To right about there. I want the gimbal to be pointed straight down at this point in time. So we'll press the pencil. We'll do the gimbal. And it, you can see that it's currently 30. But I want it to be straight down. And we'll press set. So now the gimbal is going to be pressed straight down is going to be pointed straight down until it hits the green landing area and I have to move that back into position. So I'll do that by grabbing the thing and putting it right over top of the beginning. There, now let's zoom in or out so we can see what we've got and I'll explain what we've got here. So the red triangle, the drone takes off, flies straight up to 30. Then it starts its flight across to the bottom, uh, downward, left, until it hits that very first waypoint there, pointing its camera, as you can see the, the black triangle just underneath the other one, pointing straight ahead. It, it's going to fly straight ahead. And it's going to stay at, let's zoom in a little bit, 30 meters high. So when it flies from this one to this one, from the to the very corner, uh, it's going to turn... It, the, the drone is going to turn to point towards the center of the uh, parking lot and still stay at 30 meters high. When it leaves the top and flies toward the bottom, it's slowly going to rise up to 50 meters high and have its camera turning at all times towards the center of the parking lot. As it flies across the bottom, same thing, stays at 50 meters high, camera pointed toward the center of the parking lot all the way. So it's going to slowly turn. Then when it hits the bottom right corner and goes up to up to the next waypoint that says 30, the drone is going to turn to the right, pointing towards home, and and uh, slowly go down to 30 meters. Then it's going to fly home, and it hits the first 30 there, pointed straight ahead still, but the gimbal at that point in time will still be at 90 degrees. When it gets to the next one, very close there to 30, it'll stay at 30 meters high, pointed straight ahead, but the gimbal will be pitched 30 degrees below, down. Then it flies to the very last waypoint there, still 30 meters high, points camera still at the, at the um, uh, landing point, but the gimbal will now be pointed straight down, so that when it 
when it flies to the green dot, when it flies to the green dot, which is under the red triangle there, uh, it's going to the gimbal is going to be pointed straight down. We can see our landing position, and then it will, once you uh, start the mission. You can tell it to that when it gets to the ending point what to do at that time and we'll have a look at that when I actually go out into the field and uh, do this flight. I can either choose for it to um, land or to hover or there's a couple of choices. I'm going to straighten that line there by clicking on the very last waypoint and moving it over a little bit like so. Maybe point the camera a little bit more straight like that and press on it again then it, it disappears and I can I don't have to manipulate that anymore. So that's the mission. On the far right side, you can see that uh, that little icon there. That's giving me the indication that this is a uh, manual manual mission. Okay, uh, top left corner, you see the three bars. Click on that. Click on plans and flights, and click on save. And I want to give this a name, and I'll call it Walmart. and we'll press save. Now that flight plan has been saved. So when I do go out to the field, I can call that, oh, let's click on the three bars at the top there again, and go for uh, load, and you can see that I've got a few there. One's a spiral, one flies over Timmy's, and I have two for Walmart, which I've, I've already done this one, but you can see one is March the 6th, I done it yesterday. March the 7th, which is the one I just did just now. Okay, let's uh, click back arrow. We're back to the... Uh, you can zoom in to see the altitudes in the circles, in the waypoints. And in the future, I'll do another uh, bit of a tutorial on how to set up a uh, point of interest so that I don't have to point the camera for every single... Uh, waypoint that I want the camera to I just pre put in a point of interest and press on all the um, waypoints that I want to point at the uh, point of interest and then just click on the point of interest and they all point there automatically which is a nice feature I think so the bottom right corner is where you would press when you want to fly the mission and right now it says not connected to drone because I don't have my drone connected which is great with this app is because I can build all any kind of mission at home. I don't have to be in the field. I don't have to take the drone up. I don't even have to turn the drone on. Uh, coming up to Walmart, hit the corner, uh, turn to the left. It's doing here. And it, looking at the parking lot now all the way through. So sit back and enjoy it. And uh, the Drone Harmony app, I'll put a link in the description below. When I first got this app, it was a free app. I enjoyed it for a couple of years. Sent in a lot of tutorials on it. Uh, the company was kind enough to donate me five years of uh, the paid version. So thank you very much, uh, Drone Harmony, for the time you made. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. <clears throat> I'm going to put out a couple more for you here ask for them all put them out for you stay safe guys stay awesome stay cool remember stay nomadic outlaws and we'll catch you guys all on the next one